welcome to the Open World Forum TV show. We have another guest, a new guest, uh, which is Brian Joseph, uh, CEO from Zara Far. Uh, Hello, Brian Bojo. Uh, perhaps we can begin with a very simple question. Zara Far, we don't all know what is uh, this kind of software. Uh, you're working in the email and collaboration things. Uh, perhaps you can explain what is Zara Far. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Zarafa is an open source mail and calendar software solution regarded by our customers such as hospitals, governments, ministries as the number one alternative for Microsoft Exchange due to on the one hand its compatibility with Outlook for thousands of users with BlackBerry and with ActiveSync and on the other hand uh, with its own web access and uh, integration for, for Thunderbird, Sunbird and other IMAP clients. It's completely open source. It's a commercial open source project where you have uh, some licenses that you can pay for if you want a professional version. The, the full stack with um, web access, active sync integration, and with uh, IMAP integration, that's, that's all open source. And then only the coupling with third party solutions such as Outlook and BlackBerry, those couplings are closed source. For us, it's exactly the same software with exactly the, the same packages out there that are open source and commercial available. Okay. Who are your customers? Do you have some names you can give us? Uh? Yeah. For example, at government level, the German Bundestag, Ministry of Internal Affairs in Germany, Economic Affairs in the Netherlands, also one ministry that we can't name here here in France. Uh, okay. Many hospitals, uh, many uh, more than 100 city councils. That's typical the type of customers. Six car rental, a multinational who uses for all its office offices our software. Like all open source projects, you have a community and it's important to count on this community to uh, grow the adoption of the software. Uh, can you explain us how you use a community to make the adoption grow? Yeah, very important step in that uptake by the community is that Zarafa has been adopted by Fedora in March this year. S since then, the adoption has has grown very fast. It also helped that Zarafa has been adopted in the partner repository of Canonical for the Ubuntu software. And uh, that combination of, of both adoptions has seen a very big increase in the number of downloads and also in the number of contributions. So I think there's uh, around a few hundred developers who are very deep into the Zarafa code who are, who are able to contribute or make integrations. And then th there's, of course, right now, thousands of engineers who on a monthly basis give feedback, uh, do suggestions for architectures, develop failover solutions uh, as they get very deep into Zarafa. Um, do, you, do you have to, to be concrete? Do you have an example of action that you, yeah. uh, you are doing for the community? Uh, yeah, t typically the integration with Sugar CRM, with all Fresco document management, where you can directly store an attachment in the email in the Alfresco system, or the other way around when you send an email. That's an example done by the community or the. Uh, the integration with Google Maps that you can directly see your appointments in the uh, uh, see the location of your appointment in the Google Maps visible in your interface. That's a very big development of the community. And when you decided to go with Sugar CRM with Alfresco, how did you choose? This, uh, this software, uh, because it's, uh, uh, it's always the same names that come on the market. Uh, does it mean that today there's a, uh, what I can say, a perhaps a high level open source commercial application where we can find Zarafa, GDocs, uh, Sugar CRM, and the others, uh, and, uh, and the other projects? Uh, is there two different uh, kinds no, of software? I, I would say uh, it's, it's finally it is uh, 
three ways to decide that. It's either people from the community themselves, ja. they start to work, for example, for the alternative of Sugar V Tiger. Ja. There also has been community people who started to develop that. Another way is, is customers who demand for that. F- for example, here in Paris, there have been organizations who wanted to integrate with open ERP. And as there's quite a, a fast growing community of developers around Sarafa, they started to develop the integrations with open ERP and Sarafa. It's not Sarafa who did. We provide the API, so it's very easy to do for them. And another way, indeed, is Sarafa, who mostly based on, on uh, preferences of system integrators and or customers get adopted in stacks with other commercial open source solutions. Okay, thank you very much, Brian. If we want to know more about Zarafa, perhaps uh, there's a website, of course, yeah. uh, which is? www.zarafa.com. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you all for joining us on this uh, TV show from the Open World Forum. And uh, we'll come back in a couple of minutes with another debate. Uh, thank you very much. It's, it's a pleasure, Philip. Thank you.